Today we are back on the Let's Build Nuketown. Oh, what? Let's Build Nuketown 2025 World on the Xbox One. Now, in last episode, it was a little bit of a failure because I was not able to record my voice, and I ended up building the whole interior for the house, not the garage though. But I was looking back at the recording, and I didn't show you guys how to build the walls because I think I forgot to add it in that clip. But basically, how these walls are made from the outside is, if you don't understand how this works, is that there's two layers to this. I put the blue over the the other layer said you don't see it and that's just how I did it just in case you guys weren't clarified because I didn't put that in in the actual recording because I think I forgot to actually like save that clip but in today's episode we're gonna be working on the uh, garage area and also work on this backyard patio area and probably by next episode we'll work on the rest of the backyard and then probably add in the fence and then finish off this whole world and that, oh no, because we also have to add the sign in that car. Whoa. I had a little bit of a, I don't know what you called that, but I had a little bit of a freak out there. But let's go over here. Did I just say freak out? I don't know. Eh, it doesn't matter. But let's go in here. And basically, once you come out of the store, there is, so this whole room. And now I need to work on the walls in here. And I'm thinking I'm going to do just, uh, let's just do a solid white color. Now, this does have two layers with the, a, uh, thin blue at the bottom but I don't think I'm gonna be able to replicate that so again we're just gonna do it like this now that looks really awkward having the two different separations so what I actually had the idea to do is um, I'm thinking about taking some trap doors or actual doors because there is actually like an open door here and I can either put uh, just a few doors there or I can make this a little bit smaller so let me think about this. I think I might want to make this one smaller, maybe, and make it just like a tiny doorway uh, big. I'm not sure, though, because that seems like it's really small. I'm not sure. Let me check that out. Um, I'm not sure if I like how small that is, because I do think it looks better when it's uh, bigger. But that doesn't look half bad when it's this big. And if it's this big, then I can add in the open door. But uh, I'm going to keep it at this big for now. And I think that looks pretty good. So now we're just going to add in the white walls. Now, I'm thinking about making this place about this high, up to where the garage is, and it has a white ceiling. I didn't get that good of pictures of the ceiling. I just wasn't paying attention to that, but I think this is going to be pretty good. Now, looking at these walls, they actually have, like, uh, I guess you can say, I don't know. I don't know what you'd call it, but they have a, a pattern where, like, the walls go up in, like, the wallpaper. And I think this, uh, this block, Pillared Quartz, looks really nice for that. I think it really fits it. So we're going to put that in all... Um, and all of this so let's just place all this down and I'm gonna check if I run into anything that I really shouldn't be running into so yeah another thing is that I'm really sorry for uh, last episode's uh, mistake because I I didn't uh, plug in my mic and this time I did check that I did plug it in beforehand now that's leaving the outside so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put that down and then I guess I'm gonna put the other layer in here and then I'm just gonna oh god uh, I'm just gonna do it like this Let's put this in, and there you go. Delete that, and there you go. I feel like I'm forgetting to say something that I should be saying. I feel like there's something I wanted to talk about. I don't remember it, probably. I'm not sure, but let's uh, place in the rest of this. I think this, I think four high is good. Okay, so we got um, Mr. Blaze, 420 Blaze It Master, or Lou, Lou Ma I can't say his name, Lou Mech. How do you say it? Uh, that's going to take a while. To say. You know, I'm not even going to. But we're going to put this in. I think that looks pretty nice. Now, can I break this without breaking? No, I can't. So, how am I going to do that? Because that's going to be a little bit weird if it has a different wall. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just put the door in here like that. And then I'm just going to place this in here as if nothing was uh, nothing ever happened i should have made it one bigger on that side but we can't really fix that right now because we've already built this whole entire structure and i think i want to build this door one to the side a little bit more because i want to have a little bit of separation between that and i think that's going to look pretty good now off camera i think i light i lit up this whole entire house so that's not as dark boy if you don't loon x itty okay i think that's how you say it gonna get really like destroyed if I said it wrong again but hopefully I did 
You had to say boy with an I, did you? Because, like, you could have said boy with a Y. It's not, like, it's not abbreviating it in any way. But I'm gonna add in all of this. I don't know what that... Oh, yeah. And also off camera, I just added a little touch-up that you won't really notice. I added the black block right there. Just to make it better. Now, I think this looks okay. I guess it seems really small in here. And I don't really like that. So... I don't know, because if I didn't use these blocks, then I could have extended this out one more. And this seems really small for this, but we're going to see if we can um, do this. Maybe if I, we don't have enough space, then I might ex um, make it one bigger on each side of the house. But I think that looks pretty good. Um, now, the flooring. Oh, I can't speak. I think I'm going to use stone, or maybe, I don't know. Because it has a very, like, it's like a metal but it's like really, I don't know, it's like a carbon fiber look and I don't have anything that would match that. But I think stone is the closest in like color wise. So we're going to do this. So I guess we'll switch that over from this. If I can, there you go. And now let's put all this in. There you go. That, that, that. Now I feel like this should be bigger. I kind of want this. Yeah, I think I might make this. Yo, dude, this guy wants... You want a 1v1 shock charge only after this? I'll destroy you. He wants to. Uh, if you guys don't understand what I'm talking about, uh, I'm talking in chat with this guy. Who wants a 1v1 shock charge? The 1v1 shock charge only master. Now, I'm thinking about extending this by one, but I feel like that'd make it way too... I don't know, big? But I feel like I should have extended this a little bit more. Because I want this to be three, but I feel like that leaves like no space. Let's just start working on the things that are inside before we work on that a little bit. So there are like three little, I don't know what you would call them, but they're like three little machines here. So, and they kind of go across this. Now, if you don't know why I cleared all this out in the blue house, they have this under part with the car in it and it looks really sick. And I'm gonna try and add that in here, but there's these blue machines that are like a really weird shape. And I think they're kind of like that, but that looks really weird. That looks really like, I don't know. They don't really look separated. And I'm trying to think of how I can make these look a little bit better. But I'm, I can't think of anything. But uh, what I'm going to do is just add in some buttons to make it look like, I don't know, just like less blocky, I would say. And then a little bit more, I don't know, separated. Uh, we'll add in, no, I'm going to add in these three right there. And I think that would look pretty good for now. We'll change it up later. But let's see. Um, I think that's pretty good for this. Now, this seems really tiny. I should have made it at least one bigger. But I think this might be able to work. Now, looking at the bit a little bit more, uh, there's like a patch of this blue. And then like, no, no, not this blue, this gray. And then there's like tons of random, like, I don't know what you would say. Like different colors on the floor. So I'm going to get these colors. And this might turn out really weird, but there's like sort of like a pattern to it. It's like... Uh, if I can, I'm gonna start right here, and then it goes gray, gray, and then it goes to this color, and then it goes gray, this, this. So I don't know why this is here, because it looks really, like, I don't want to say ugly. Yeah, it kind of looks ugly. I don't think that looks really nice. I'm just gonna stick with the stone. I feel like the stone's, like, the only way this is gonna be able to look passable. I really don't like how this is really tiny in here. It's really bugging me. I feel like it should have been one more out. Maybe if I were to make this one smaller or just do the white because then I wouldn't have to have that back. You know what I'm going to do? I might just extend this out because uh, this this wall can just be like a really white. Uh, you won't really, the but what? Uh, you won't really notice the difference, I would say. I'm not really sure, though. But let's delete this whole wall here and let's add in that. And I feel like that's going to give me enough space to build this out a little bit more because it's really cramped in here. The one thing that I don't like about building these things is that a lot of the rooms in these houses are like becoming like really small because I have to like add in all the furniture and it gets really difficult to build furniture that in that size. But I think uh, I can pass by with one of these walls being just straight up um, quartz blocks. But let's add the pillared quartz back into here. Right there. And that looks pretty good. So now we're going to extend this out one more. And there you go. So yeah, I think this looks a little bit better than before. Now we're just going to add in those machines. Uh, I need this. Let's get some item frames. Wherever they are. Right there. And then blue. Item frame. Button. 
And then I have a good idea here. We're just going to add some buttons there and then with the item frames. And then add some of that. No, that looks weird. Uh, let's do, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to make this look as cool as possible or as nice, but I don't think I want the item frames at the top here. I think I just want the buttons. And maybe I'll change it up later, but that's where the car goes. And then off the door here, there's two bins again. There's a recycling and I guess a trash can. I don't know what they would be. But let's add those in again. A really cool feature on the PC now is that you can place trap doors wherever you want. And I wish we had that on console, but we can't do that. I'm pretty sure. Because on PC, how it works is if you shift and click on a block, you can place a trap door or place them on top of each other. But you can't do that here. So now I have to think of some way to put these down. And I'm not going to do slabs because those are really high. Now, how did I do them at the orange house? Because I had some bins there. I think I'm going to use snow. The one problem with snow is that these are indoor. Yeah, I put snow, but these are indoors. So I'm going to do that without them, like, you know, melting. We'll try that out, though. I wish there was a feature where uh, in, the, in the host settings, you can just turn off, like, snow melting or something like that. That'd be a really cool uh, feature. But now there's, like, these shelves on the walls now. I'm going to just implement these. These should be pretty easy. They're just, like, uh, random shelves. So there's, like, one right here, and it's about three long. And there's about... That should be good. No, I, I don't like how that looks. Let's do it like this. And I think that looks pretty good. Now, the one thing that bothers me is that it has a really noticeable green backing. But if I break into this, I break into the next room. And that's the one problem this again because you miss out on those really big details that you wish you could have been adding we're gonna add that back into there and maybe I can figure out a way to add some green into this so what I was thinking is that we can do something like let's look through all of our blocks here and find something that might be good if you can't find anything but these are like such a noticeable green it's like a glowing green background and slime would have been the perfect block to use here or uh, just lime green, but we can't put them back in the back without showing it on the other side. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe, I don't think item frames would work though, because usually you can place item frames in spot like this and then put something in the back. We'll keep it like that for now. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do that. But then there's another shelf over here. So one, two, oh, I broke through the other side, put that back and then place this. Okay, and that's all of our shelves. Now, I don't like how this looks. It looks really different. So what I'm going to do is find something that can separate them a little bit more. And what I'm thinking is that I'm going to take some doors, maybe, because I feel like that would work the best. And then some, wherever they are, uh, trap doors. And then maybe on one of these sides, like this one, we can get in and then just do that to separate it. How's that look? That doesn't look bad, but it it kind of looks bad. Let me get some oak doors. Maybe that will look better if I do it like this, like that. Nope, wrong one. I'm trying to think of something that would separate these a little bit more because that looks really awkward, the transition from those two different colors. So maybe what I'm going to do is either keep it like that or maybe, why didn't I think about this? I could just delete this and then round off these seats so that this one, you can't really see it. So we'll do it like that. And that looks pretty good. And then all we need to do is, oh, I just laid all my blocks. But add the quartz back. And that's it. That's basically how I'm going to solve this. Now we're getting on to probably the coolest part of this garage build thing. Is that the car. So there's like a really like, there's a car here. And it's going to be really easy because this is going to be the light source for this whole entire room. Now what I'm noticing is that there are some like metal beams at the top. So they're like gray beams. So we're just going to add that in for like support. And they also have the lights. We're not going to be using these for lights because I feel like that'd be really awkward. We're going to be using these for the, uh, I mean, we're just going to use this for like the decoration. But the lights, it's going to be in all in this car. So what we're going to do is use like a very, a lot of, um, wherever it is, uh, sea lanterns. Because I feel like that's like the perfect blue. So now we need to clear up enough space to actually build the car in here. So I'm going to try and build, again, like the same car that I've been building a lot, just in a blue color, because that's uh, the color of the car. So we're just going to build down here. I mean, not build, break down to here. And then let's add in this car. So we're going to get... Now, we don't really I'm not, we don't really need to add in every detail, but I'm just going to do it just for reference. 
And I'm going to do that color. Oh, God. And then we're going to need that. So we're going to add in the front. So, oh, wait, I want to make that blue. Hold on. There you go. Front. And then you have the wheels. And then you have the chamber. Did I just say chamber? I mean, like the seat. What would I call that? There's, there's definitely a word for that that I should know, but I don't know. Let's put that back. There you go. That looks pretty cool. And then add in the backing like usual. Add in two wheels. I don't really need to add in all these details, but I'm just going to build it like this just, just for the effects. And we're going to add in these. There you go. Across. Across on the back too. Now what I can actually do here, since it's perspective, I can make this look like the whole car is blue just by adding this in like this. And then I really don't really need to use the stairs because I could just use... Oh, that's so weird. Because now I can't really make the car look as cool as I want it to. Because it's like underground and you're not going to see the full car. But I think that actually looks pretty nice. So we're going to add in the front here. No, that doesn't work. Um, a blue... No, white front. And then add in the blue at the top. So this does look really weird because you're looking at it from the top. But I don't know. It could work out. Maybe we're going to just make uh, the colors a little bit more. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. But now let's see the lights. So sea lanterns, again, are probably going to be the perfect block. Because uh, when you look at it, it has like this really like bright blue glow and sea lanterns are perfect for that because they look like the perfect box we're going to surround this whole thing with sea lanterns and like this sea lanterns are probably a block i've been using more in this but i haven't used a lot in this series because they're so like futuristic look and i feel like it would look really nice in all this but i just haven't used it because i'm so used to like all the other blocks but let's add this in there you go. So that looks pretty good. So you can definitely see the car in there. And now what I'm going to do is get some... Which tint do I want to use? I'm going to use some light blue tint. Or do I want a tint? Uh, light blue looks pretty okay. But what does white tint look like? Or gray tint? Let's... let's that's gray and that's white. I think I'm going to go with the white tinted glass. I feel like it looks the best. And then we're going to surround this whole thing with a little bit of a border. Uh, and I'm probably going to use just something similar but different. So there you go. This block looks like it will work. Uh, the uh, andesite. I'm getting a lot of lag here. So I'm probably going to cut when I start to work on the um, the backyard, I would say, I don't know, rock, patio? I think that's what it is. But that looks pretty good, the patio to the backyard, because I didn't get the pictures for that. So I think this looks pretty good for the garage. I'm pretty sure I got every detail there. I'm probably missing something on this wall that's really crucial, like a work table. I feel like there's something there that I'm missing, but I'm pretty sure there wouldn't be anything there because, again, that's like a doorway. So now there's a little bit of a light switch here that I want to add in because it's, it's noticeable because that is a huge wire. So we're just going to add that in. There you go. There's the light switch. And that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to stick with this. I don't think I really need to add anything else. So I guess I'm going to cut here. I'm going to get those pictures for this back area. And I'll see you guys when I have them. Okay, guys. I am back. And I just looked at um, what the... I guess what you would say the... I don't know. I should look up what this looks like. But like the pavement at the back here... And I think I already know what block, I, uh, blocks I want to use. I'm just not sure on the second block. Because basically how this looks is that it's um, it's kind of like slabs, I would say, of like this... Uh, I don't need that. Of... Uh, let me get this. Of um, this, I would say... Oh, God. I, I can't... I can't think of my words today. Uh, it's uh, it's like slabs of like two by two of this um, what stone brick sla stone slabs, and then that goes along, and then it alternates between this, and then some blue color. Now I was deciding between this and this because it's like a blue tinted stone, and when I look at andesite, I kind of get a blue, but it's not really like that really like vibrant blue color that I wish for. So I think I'm just gonna stick with the. The uh, light blue, what is this? Light blue stained clay. So let's just fill in this whole thing. Now this one's going to be way faster, way easier than the um, 
than the orange house this one because the orange house was like super round and all that that's why i'm thinking that i was be um uh, that i'm able to fit this in with the garage too so i can get more in this episode i feel like this is gonna be another 30 minute episode i i really don't like 30 minute or like those long of episodes i'm not sure if you guys like it when i upload those long of episodes because i feel like it gets like really boring and like i don't know long i don't know i feel like it'd be way better if we could have more episodes with a shorter time i'm not sure though because it gives you it does give you more but i'm not sure but this series is actually coming like really fastly to like like an end because after this we just have probably two more episodes because i feel like i'm gonna spend a whole episode on that that huge nuketown sign and like that huge nuketown sign there and i feel like that'd look really sick and i'm gonna spend a whole episode on that because there's a road there i'm not houses outside of this because I feel like it'd be a huge like waste of time. I feel like I don't really need to do that. I just want to add in this map. And after that, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to end off the series. I don't know. I, I kind of had a really cool idea where I can nuke that. Like, actually, like, nuke Nuketown. Like, I'll save, like, a file and I'll just, like, have the map and one, and one, uh, I don't know. And, like, for the end of the series, I actually, like, drop, like, a piece of TNT on it. And I make it so that it blows up the map. Because if you don't know... At the end of the Nuketown map, when you play it on the actual games, uh, um, when it's on the winning screen and it shows all the scores, a huge nuke is dropped on the map at back of there, and then the whole place blows up, and it's so sick. And I feel like that'd be pretty sick to recreate in Minecraft. I don't know, maybe for a special, I don't know. That'd be pretty sick, though. But, yeah, I don't know. That's Those are just some ideas. You know, if you made it this far in the episode... Comment down below if you want to see me nuke nuke town. I'm not sure though. I don't know. We've been getting subscribers really fast. It'd be sick if we can hit 100 by then. I don't even know, but it'd be sick if we can hit 100 by then. But yeah, so we're just going to add in this here now. I'm pretty sure that's how far I want to make it. I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me think about this. You look up at that. And. So how this looks is that one of these edges is rounded. Now, I'm pretty sure I want to extend this out a little more. I'm actually looking at the picture here of this. And what I'm noticing is that it's a really different from what I did. Because when I built this, I just built it randomly. I wasn't, I didn't know what I was building. I just tried to make it as accurate as on my memory. But now that I'm looking at the pictures, it's super different from what I built right here. So how it looks is that there's a white bottom to it. And then the top is blue. Now we'll add in all that junk later, but that looks pretty good. And then one piece is white here. And then it has a lower piece here, if I can. Lower piece. We got someone in chat, what's up? And we're gonna add in some blue carpet there, and that looks pretty sick. Now we're just gonna add in some buttons and stuff like that to make it look, you know, a little bit better. And I think that looks pretty good. Now there's like a, a slab of this blue color surrounding it, so let's just do that. So let's surround this and then how this so hold on wait let me just do that and here so how this looks, so how this, looks this kind of up diagonally and then it connects with that a little bit less so we're going to do that there you go let's do it like this and let's add that in. And I'm getting a lot of lag right now. But we're going to tough through this because I'm just going to end it off right here once I add in this. Plus there you go. That looks pretty nice. Hold on, let me add that in. No, wait. Add that in. There you go. And I think that looks pretty good. Perfect. That looks pretty nice. Um, Do I want to round that off a little bit more? No, I think it looks good. But yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Build Nuketown 2285 on the Xbox One. If you did enjoy this episode, remember to slap that like button. I'm really getting to like that. Leave a comment about what you liked about this episode or whatever, or answer that question that I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you got comment down below if you guys think that I should actually nuke this at the end, or maybe like for like a 100 sub special. If I do hit it then, but probably not. And I'll see you guys next time.